one more function from a Kotlin standard library and its name is fold. So our today's scenario is uh, we are looking for to sum of ages of all these persons and person is contained name age and sex so what i can do i can implement a function sum of ages where i am sending this list as a person and then i am returning integer so it's simply the sum function and then sum plus is equal to item plus sum and then return hmm. return sum now once i will call this function we will get the ages of all the persons there is a possibility you can say i can improve this by using simply map because we are doing a mapping in between and then the built-in function of kotlin yep it will work it should work only there is a small problem you are using extra cpu cycles because now there are two end loops first end loop is this and you are making a new array of integer and then you are again doing a one more loop here still you can improve this you you can reduce this by using sum by function but that is a different video uh, now how i can improve this by using fold so fold is saying okay you need to give me the initial value and then the operation so in 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 our case I'm I'm sure my data my, my data type which is initial or returning is integer or maybe first we can implement inside of this and then we will discuss outside so list dot fold and initial value you can also like uh, try to convert from this logic to the fold so I will say sum is zero basically that is my initial value yes then in case of an operation it's saying we will we will send you like you can check again so t is basically is a person in this case then initial value is zero and then it's saying in operation the lambda the first value will be the data type of a first value will be the initial value one which is r and this is going to return also r and this lambda should return also r so in our case this will be int 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 and this t will be person and what we want we want simply like this person dot h and then this will return a single value and okay so still everything looks good and i can directly apply here on a persons and then now so the question is how to how to migrate to your existing iterative code to this so there the, the tip which i use how i learn go inside of your uh, code base and then check methods which are which are taking parameter as a list or a collection or maybe any class which implement iterable and returning a one value this may be a, an object it's in this case it's only integer so in this case that is the first scenario so it's like uh, many to one so there will be many values and it's folding in in the end it will go into the one value so that is the first mandatory condition you need to figure it out then the second condition because this can also occur in many other places and you have an operation in that logic so like in this case i have an operation operation means a uh, operation i am applying some logic on each element because there is a possibility i have if else filter in that case fold is not a good use case to use but if you are applying a, some kind of a operation on each element of that collection it means you can use fold or reduce reduce is a separate method we will discuss in a separate video so that is the the, the tip how you can re, uh, replace your existing imperative code with this declarative or the functional code with the kotlin again method maybe 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 you have method something like this 
so still it, it's it's same there is no difference except this so you maybe have an extension function you have a private extension function on your collection and you you are returning it and in that code you are applying some kind of a operational logic which is applying on each element and you are returning in the end one value so that is where you can use fold there are some other scenarios where we can where we can improve our thought process like how to use fold uh, like for example there is a fibonacci series uh, which we mostly fix uh, solve by using the dp dynamic programming uh, but i can solve that also by using fold so what i will do i will create a separate video a video where we will see more uses of a fold so yep bye